Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well and welcome back to some EU4. This is the Empire of Man. We're in a bit of a predicament here, but I don't think it's actually that much of a predicament. It's just a bit of a predicament. So, uh, we need to keep an eye out because there is some ships that are definitely trying to uh, jump on us here. Um, but it is my hope that I can blockade these guys and get them to eventually decide that they want out of the war. The sad thing is that they're not losing any uh, war exhaustion, but this war is very important. Um, you can see here, we're actually winning because of blockades. If we would just occupy his capital, we're good. So all we need to do is get France out, and the best way to do that is uh, to wait it out. It's already been five years, and it's probably going to be about another mm, three and a half before he's going to be willing to peace, but... Uh, once he does, it will be much easier on us on our end. So, we're just waiting on that. I could take Defender of the Faith. It would be quite funny. Uh, I'm not going to, but uh, I could. And then uh, we'll hang out. Um, so, I'm going to wait. This is more important. That will actually make these the, finishing those cores a bit easier as well. Yeah, they're not stronger than you, so you should just definitely go fight them. The whole stronger than you mechanic is uh, infuriating and it doesn't work, so. Let's go kill those rebels. They'll recover eventually. I just lost six and a half thousand men to rebels. Seems legit. Uh, so these guys are privateering, which is good. I could upgrade these centers of trade. I probably should. Maybe make a shift towards privateering more um, in Lubeck and then in Sevilla once I have range. Slash the Caribbean. Actually, maybe these guys should be privateering. Let's see here. I think if we privateer in Lubeck rather than... So we're collecting 3.4, so 2.2 two right now here. Okay, we collect a lot more up there. And we'll be privateering roughly the same way. So I think that's probably the way we should do that. Yeah, that's definitely the move. Defender of the Catholic faith. The French. Of course. Yeah, and that's uh, going to solidify the fact that he's never going to have war exhaustion. So yeah, it looks like he'll be willing to peace out here in about probably... I don't know. It jumps around a little bit randomly, but... We'll take that tech. Press the rebels, that's fine. I don't care about rebels. Yeah, we don't have any unrest, so we're good. We can drill our army for now. Hmm. I think I'll take this. Naval morale sounds good to me. Naval attrition would also be great. Matter of fact, I think I'm just going to push this. This, this miltech isn't helpful, so. All it is, is is a stepping stone for the next one, right? So. No big deal. France is going to want out here probably in like a year and a half to two years. We are devastating all of his uh, coastal provinces, which is great. Um, in an attempt to get a little bit more of our uh, manpower or uh, Republican tradition, we'll get a new guy. Uh, global trade for support for global trade in York for a bit of unrest. Sounds good. Portugal's offering me peace. If I cede a core and release Linster and Norway, huh? And end my lordship of the knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, I'll get right on that, dude. That's a fair trade, you know? They're daft, as the British would say. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. There we go. Get rid of them. Uh, let's build a couple more of these guys, because Lord knows we need it. And then... Yeah, he's on low enthusiasm now, which is awesome. France is on high enthusiasm, for reasons. Actually, the fact that we have him blockaded makes him a bit more uh, willing to. So once we piece him out, we're good. Honestly, once we piece him out, it's, it's game over. Because all we need to do is... Um, Blockade the Portuguese land so he can't land any men and then uh, rip through it. You know, that's all we're doing. So I suppose we can just speed five for a bit. 
Our Master of the Mint has died, sadly. I would like another one. Go with some missionary strength instead. Convert some provinces. Truce of Scotland is over. I'll, I'll annex him eventually. We, I know we need to. I know it's bothering a lot of people that we still haven't. We will eventually, I promise. Absolutism is here. France is going to want out of here in about three to four months. Uh, okay. As soon as he flips to one reason. There we go. France is out. Very good. Get these guys down here. So I'm going to take half the heavies and just park them here so they cannot get on my capital because that's going to annoy me. Let's have these guys with him. Head on over. That helps reduce, um, what's it called? Um, attrition. Okay, very good. Wow, we have a lot of men that died here. Let's see if we can see just down ASAP. As soon as we take this, oh, this is good actually. Because his entire army, ooh, that's great. Yep, yeah, that's his entire army there. So let's take these guys here, split them up, get some spine, or get some, uh, get some war score here. Yeah, all these stacks are all jacked up. Something like this. There we go. Let's have you guys, well, once we do this, so now we're actually in the positive. Now we're going to have this navy here. Pick these guys up. So it looks like we don't have a general here. Have you guys come over here. Let's have these guys continue to loot. Why not, you know? It also devastates his land a little bit, so it hurts him. Something like this. Fifty-six. What an old fart. And he's bad. There we go. Now I'm keeping an eye on my mini-map over here, looking for red dots. I don't see any, so we're good. Okay. So, what I would like... The requirements... Right here. Oh, it looks like he actually took this. Madeira was Castilian, I believe, in the beginning. I'm almost positive it is, so... We're gonna take all of these islands here. And then, like... Something like this. We'll get ticking. We have ticking war score, so we're honestly fine to do whatever we want. Get a couple of loot ticks over here. We privateered a gold fleet, which is hilarious. Let's have these guys come over here. It's important that we keep this army here, uh, this navy here, blockading. Very important. Something like this. Get you guys over there. Get you guys over there. Get you guys over there. Eventually. We're getting our war score here. There we go. Ticking war scores in our favor. Very good. So this, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to extend my pirating range. I can reach over here. I can reach all the way over to here, actually. Um, so that's good. This will allow me to reach just up to here and over to here. This will allow me to reach all the way over to here. This, hmm. Oh, 
kind of want to get Tenerife as well. So all we need to do is just let the Ticking War Score get us there. All we need is the Ticking War Score. There we go. It'll get there. There we go. Plus 10. So we can even get a little bit of cash for the mutt for the war. We'll take all these islands. That's good. Um, if I want really... Mm, if I take... So I have... This will be... I think this is actually technically Colombia, is it not? No, no, no. This is Jamaican or uh, Caribbean. I was thinking that Trinidad was part of the colonial Colombia. So what uh, this will do is we will not form a colonial nation because we only have three here. Uh, and then these are all mine and then somebody had mentioned coming down and grabbing Georgia I will um, I do not have ri uh, what's it called range but I'm gonna get very close with this guy so and then he doesn't have any islands over here so I don't benefit from that uh, ideally I could get to war with yes so we're gonna get to war with Castile over this island here and then I will um, use that as pretext to take some islands over here so this is the this is the uh, the piece. I just extended it, so now we can actually raid all of this as well, and we shall. Uh, let's embrace institution. Yeah, sure. Let's embrace institution. Do that. That's gonna make all of these very cheap to core compared to what they would originally have been. And then um, I think so. Let's take a look at how many rebels we're gonna get here. Cape Verde. So. I don't have any absolutism, so I'm just going to uh, increase the autonomy over here in these provinces because I don't gain anything from having them. The reason why I want them is so I can have raiding range. That's literally it. So let's take a look here. Okay, as long as it's on the home islands. And then Castilian, Tenerife won't happen. And then Caribbean won't happen. Very good. And then as my uh, war exhaustion goes down here. Oops, I clicked on something over there. My, as my war exhaustion goes down, we'll be good to go. So... I will keep a um, keep a small group out here for such uh, naval raids. Well, let's get these guys together over here in Trinidad. Have these guys come over here, and uh, now we're just waiting on the admin points to core up this stuff. It's nice because this doesn't give us overextension. And if I really wanted to min-max, I wouldn't even actually... I don't actually need to do it. Um, let's go with... Let's go with improved relations. Take some mill points since we're finishing out quality. Very nice. I don't care about trade efficiency, so that will give free us up a land leader fire. And if we really wanted to... Oh, we need both of these. So I think I'm going to forego this for now. That uh, policy. So conquer new states is useful. Um, we're gonna use that eventually to ma give us a bit more absolutism. Um, all right, and then you guys, here's our navy. Let's have you guys head home. And uh, we'll get together and we're going to do some raiding. Okay, not bad. Very good. Yo, the attrition to our to our Nate our like actual boys in the is disgusting. It's crazy. So Portuguese noble rebels have sieged down Tenerife. I have nothing to do with that. So I don't get overextension from it. I'm I'm honestly just gonna let it happen, I think. Cause I don't like nothing happens to me from that. And I Pretty sure I still get to reap the benefits of it. So let's see here, actually. I'm pretty sure I'm close to being able to raid this again next year. So we're going to be able to do a decent bit of raiding here in the future. Let's get over here, see what we can read. So we can't reach here. We should not be able to reach. Okay, so we can. All oh, right. So somebody had mentioned it's because of this big old Hatton Bank province here. This So this is one, two, three so I can actually reach over here on my own which is hilarious but now I can reach down here which I didn't I wasn't able to before oh it's been raided all right the Berbers the Berbers are gonna raid all this stuff but nobody's been raiding the Berbers so time to raid some Berbers then here we go 
we'll make our way up this way. I don't think I can reach this. This is one, two, three. So I, I actually can't reach into the Gulf of Emeria or however that's pronounced, sadly. Okay, cool. Well, are these guys in range to annex soon? Could I? No. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. So, not bad. I can now get my claim on Tenerife. So, I want that. Uh, I don't care about Castile. Um, Switzerland, Naples. Yeah, I'm not really too bothered by any of these guys. New Providence. That is new. He literally just popped up, I think. Shout out Diavolo. My Bahamian. I think that's what they call themselves. Bahamian. One of my buddies. Um, so, I guess we go raid the, the uh, Caribbean then. We're going to get to war with those guys in the future, for sure. And then once we get back, we will... Um... Oh, nice. I can actually raid Brazil as well. Brazil. One, two, three. Raid all this, so this is great. Yeah, 3.7. Yikes. Not bad. Oh my gosh, boys. All the raiding. Oh my goodness, the raiding. Too far away, right? Okay. Very good. Raid it all, raid it all. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. And then once we've decided that we're tired of uh, privateering over here, or privateering raiding over here, we, uh, all we need to do is, um, form a colonial nation, and then, you know, they'll take care of the rest for us. Okay. Let's get up here, raid Florida. Just because we can. And I think I can raid up here in the Gulf of Mexico, so I should do that as well. Yes, I can. 42 ducats. Not bad. I don't think we can reach this, so we... Okay. Um, and I think I didn't ray down in here in the Gulf of Honduras, so let's do that. Yes. Not bad at all. And now we can head home and uh, raid everything over here now. So we shall. I should probably actually dock up for a monthly tick first. Let's dock up in the Turk Islands. Just so we don't get the um, time spent at sea modifier, which is pretty punishing for attrition. So these guys are going to be done not anytime soon. So we'll be able to we'll raid as much as we can in the um, the North Sea and the Baltic, and then we will get to war with uh, probably either Scotland and or Castile. Something like this. We have truly been blessed. A free stability? Well, I think the best way to do that is to uh, do that. So now we're at three stability. And we didn't spend a single admin point. Feels very good, man. 73 so far. 17. 22. 61. This is the big one here. 247. And this doesn't affect my... Um, it just affects a relations. It doesn't affect my, um, what's it called? My, uh, inflation, which I think is overpowered, honestly. A hundred. Look how rich we are. So these ones are a couple more months. So I suppose, let's say, December. So we can just wait a month and dock up in Bornholm here. Hang out there for a month. Very good. Raid here. Very good. Very good. Cool. So that's all for that. Let's uh, get our army maxed out. So we need an extra 10 units here. So let's get 10 more infantry. This is an absolute bummer. We have literally no manpower. So instead of... 
that, let's build a uh, small unit of mercenaries. Ooh. So that's a five stack right there. That'll, that'll do just fine. Almost done with our cores. Our unrest is going to be really low. It's really good. How many? So we actually have a few cardinals. One, two, three, four, five, six cardinals. How many is that? That's actually like one of the most in the world. We have seven cardinals. We're tied for the most in the world. Hilarious. <laughs> That's super funny. And we privateered 43 ducats from a uh, from a gold fleet, which is pretty cool. All right. The last unit here. Get you guys grouped up. I don't... I still don't get why that... Ugh, so buggy. Anyways. Oh, looks like they are in war with uh, a few boars. So that's good. If we attack him, Naples won't help. Switzerland would. Great Horde is a very strange ally to have for you. I probably, it's funny, we're allied to the Pope. Um, I would like to find another alliance. Cyprus, not very useful. Ragusa, nope. All right, that's fine. So let's head on down. We'll just leave the Mercs on Tenerife. And uh, we're gonna take that province from him. And uh, like I said, we're gonna use that as pretext to take some provinces over here. Um. And then down here. I'm not sure exactly... Hmm. Coring it's going to be another thing. I, I might not be able to core it. We'll see. Well, it's going to be pretty close, honestly. But we're going to do our best here. So we got our claim on Tenerife. Or not Tenerife, Grand Canary. So let's attack for Grand Canary. Not War of the World, because I do not want to siege down his capital. I cannot be landing troops on the mainland. Because our troops are garbage. So let's send the mercs over here. Get us some ticking war score over there. What's their navy look like? Um, a navy. So it looks like we just sunk a few of his ships over here. So let's uh, get rid of them. How's our ship? Okay, we are. We have twenty more ships till force limit, so that's good. And um, after those guys drop off, we'll just drop our boys here because they don't need to be doing that. And then. Um, He's got... So Brazil's got some ships. Hmm. It's a little annoying. I'm not really sure. Blockading him is definitely going to be helpful, though. Oh, man. Pope Man just beating up on them. Feels good. Cool. Um, I suppose... Switzerland is, you know... Once the Pope Man sieges him down, I might... Oh, it looks like he's not getting siege down. I don't know. Basically, just need to not not let them uh, land men. You know, any of these places we have navies to back them up, so we're good regardless. Our inquisitor is dead. Get some prestige. Sounds good. We better get tech and be actually ahead of time in all three techs. Believe it or not, we were struggling for such a long time for tech costs. So I'm really glad that things have turned around for us. You guys are on medium enthusiasm already. War exhaustion is going to be helpful, but as soon as they peace out of this war, it's going to help out. Holstein is ours by right. And uh, they are being beat up on in the same war. So what's up with this Pope Man? Pope Man is just slapping him around, man. Solento. So he's attacking Naples. Interesting. Cool. So he's on low enthusiasm uh, until we get, you know, enough to... Um, Hmm. What's our next idea group? Ah, uh, Humanist is probably a good one. Maritime. Morale hit when losing a ship is good. Morale. Recover morale speed. Ship durability is good. Yearly prestige with quality. I think we'll plan on Humanist. So let's go on um, the up and coming pirate guy. 
He's old, so he's not really up and coming. Established Sunday school sounds good to me. So, Pader Amberson. Sounds good, buddy. Welcome, welcome. All right, I think that's a good place to call it for the episode. So, we definitely grew. We grew a couple of provinces today, and I'm very happy for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, make sure that you show your support. Leave a like on the video. And uh, if you want to uh, help us out and subscribe, and you can ding the bell, and uh, you get notifications whenever we post these videos. We also stream multiple days a week over at twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot. You're missing out on a lot of fun if you're not following over there as well. And uh, if you want to support us, we have Patreon, and uh, we also have a Discord if you want to hop in the community over there. But uh, that's all for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And a big special thanks to my top November patrons, Drunk Binary, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, M. Dressel, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Disdain, Jay Cutchell, RJ Pilot, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and we couldn't do it without you.